Okay, um, so I guess we had a question on um, electronic structure. And so let's just go ahead and make a list of what the electronic structures can be and how you figure it out. So uh, the way to figure out electronic, electronic structure is to look at the central atom um, and ask yourself how many groups of electrons does it have around it, or electron groups, okay? And so recall, electron group, so let's write that, so electron group. So electron groups can be what? Uh, um, single bonds? Double bonds? Um, triple bonds? Or lastly, lone pairs. So each one of these counts as one electron group. Okay, so a double bond counts as one electron group, a triple bond counts as one electron group, a lone pair counts as one electron group, and a single bond counts as one electron group. Okay? So if we look at an atom and we just think about electron groups, okay? So if this thing's got, and again, the electron groups can be any of these things, okay? So if it's got two electron groups around it, well, let's make a bond instead. It's like it like that, okay? So it's bonded to something like that. Okay, if it's like that, then this X is, um, Linear, right? So two electron groups is linear. If you've got three electron groups, like that. And again, they don't necessarily have to be all bonds. Okay. Um, you got a trigonal planar. got four of them. Oops. My favorite atom. <coughs> like that. Four. Gonna be okay. help. You guys know this stuff already. Um, five? Not yet. Trigonal by parameters. Yeah, trigonal by parameters. So it's going to look something like, I don't know. Are you guys cheating looking at the list? Absolutely not. Oh, okay. I'll keep you next. And then again, molecular structure is derived from these electronic structures. So if you've got, I don't know, you know, instead of lone pairs, you've got bonding, uh, bonded atoms. You're going to have different molecular structures. Okay, but this again is just electronic structure here. Okay, any questions about that?